Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. I don't remember how this video began. I don't know what my thought process in the beginning of this video was on what was gonna go down, but I'll tell you that it swiftly swerved into a spend the day with me because I have not been reading literally anything. Literally nothing. I think my Goodreads goal, I had to set it at 24 when before it was up 200 because I was like, girl, it ain't gonna happen. Girl, you're not that girl, you're not that girl. I don't think I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> so I dropped it down because I haven't been reading anything and I do not half-ass things, okay? So I picked this up at work and I read 100 pages of it. And then I thought, oh my God, you're gonna be crazy. What if I read it all in one day? So I'm back to the beginning, which I do a lot. And it's very annoying, kind of. I'm like, why do I just read parts of the book over and over again? Like, okay, like, can you finish a book? Jesus, can you finish a book? No, you can't. You know, aforementioned, no, I can't. But in this video, I'm going to start at the beginning and read this entire book in one sitting. Uh, I'm going to be doing that by getting back into my roots of trying to be creative and artistic. Speaking of, that is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be journaling. S journaling slash just being artistic. It's not even really like journaling. It's just painting and I don't know, it, it just being artistic and creative. And in any way, I feel like I need to get that done so that I can really tune in to the audiobook. I did read 100 pages of this physically and then chose to switch to the audiobook so that I could, because I wanted to read the audiobook of a, a grave robbery, but I was like, I need to finish this. So I picked up this audiobook so that I could journal at the same time. Now I'm going to be a responsible booktuber. I say with no confidence. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what the summary of this is before going into it because I know I'm going to do a terrible job later on. Hopefully I cut all that out. So this is a paranormal romance of Allie Hazelwood. It is an adult romance. Now I previously, you would have seen, read Check and Mate and I did not like it, but I really loved uh, The Love Hypothesis. No, sorry. I liked The Love Hypothesis, but I loved Love Theoretically. Just correct that. I knew I wanted to pick this up. The cover is stunning. The summary just really called to me. This has vampires and werewolves in it. So basically we have three different species. We have vampires, werewolves, and humans. Now vampires are kind of like lower in the population necessarily. And were werewolves are second and humans have a lot of people in their populace. So the werewolves and the vampires are very antagonistic against each other. And there's always a brink of a war because they're both very powerful, but in different ways and are always trying to assert dominance. And the humans are not powerful physically, but they're powerful in like artillery and numbers. So the vampires and the werewolves both want the humans to be on their side so that they can have the numbers if a war starts. Now, when we open this, it is where the last like decades and decades have been a truce between vampires and werewolves and humans that says, I'm going to send one of my loved ones. It always ends up being a child, obviously, like an heir to the throne, somebody that's really important to the people and to the monarchy, patriarchy, hierarchy, whatever, to like the human and then to the vampire world to live with them for 10 years as basically a sign of a truce that's like, if you harm my kid, I'm going to harm your kid, which means if you kill them, I'm going to kill them. So it's like a, not a bait and switch. It's like a, a lure. I guess, I don't know what I'm trying to say, a bait to like not harm the other people. Now, when we start this book, our main character was one of those children that spent 10 years, she's a vampire, spent 10 years in the human world. And she had a human best friend and the relationship between them is so strong and so beautiful. And then we are following as she is 25 years old, obviously 15 years later. And this truce has crumbled and they're trying to desperately find a way to form another one. And the way that they do that is with interspecies marriage, wedlock. So they're like, okay, well, how about if a werewolf and a vampire marry each other? Then that would kind of send the tone that like, oh my God, no, we can all totally get along. 
So of course our main character is a vampire and she has to marry a werewolf. What a sexy surprise. But then also her best friend is missing and the one clue she has mysteriously seems to be this man that she's about to marry. I could, I could say so much more. I could say so much more, but I can't because then I would spoil things. But anyway, let's jump into this because I'm so serious when I say this has all been in one day and I truly do not remember how all this started. Hello, friends. Um, I am in the parking garage because shock and awe, I'm about to go to work. So I am about to go in, but I did have a package and I wanted to open it because I was like, this feels freaking huge. Like, what is this? Oh, wait, maybe it's, maybe it's actually two books. Oh, oh, never mind. It's two. Okay. That makes sense. I feel like this is a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know. There's only one guess I have. Okay. And I feel like I've been getting really good at guessing. But I still am so anxious about, like, I don't want it to seem like I'm guessing and thinking, like, oh, this is what I want. And then if it's not that, then it's something I didn't want. It's not. It's, like, just me trying to predict, like, feeling it. Like, what do I think this is? This is a paperback. I think these are hardback. No, they're paperback. I think one of them is Bride Bay, Allie Hazelwood. Oh, my God. I really don't know. It could be that they, that I'm pretty sure that on Amazon, you can just, if you send something to somebody on their wish list, you can like add things that aren't on their wish list. That could have happened. Why am I trying to play a game here? Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 roll back the clip. Am I clairvoyant? This was not on my wish list. They did that. They... They just added something that wasn't... That's crazy. This has never happened before. That's... Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? That this was literally like... I'm... um, What was her name? Allison something from Medium. I am Raven Samo. That's so Raven. That's... Cr that is wild. I have heard a lot of really good things about this. Pretty sure it's a contemporary romance though. So it must be good if somebody is wanting me to read it because I don't really like contemporary romance. I truly don't know what this is about, even though I've heard people talk about it a million times. It has, like, the plot has flown over my head. It doesn't seem like it's crazy long. No, it's a little under 400 pages. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's exciting. That's so cool that it's something that I've heard of, but that I had never, like, looked for, you know? Okay, it's two paperbacks. Let's see. Okay, I'm a I am a genius. I, I can see the future. I can see the future. I'm telling you, I, this person, if they reached out to me and told me what they gave me, I didn't see the message. So this is not, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. This is crazy. A vampire bride. You know what? Act oh my God. I'm going to take this into work. I'm going to start reading this. I'm going to start reading this. I am so excited. Okay. I did read Check and Mate and did not enjoy it, but I cannot wait for this. And oh my God. Oh, girls. Honey. Honey. Do you see that? Oh my God. It's like liquid. I also, I'm obsessed with this cover. Look at the eyes shining. Are you joking me? She's Gorgiana. I'm obsessed with that. I am so. Pay. 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 Pray to the literary gods that it is five stars or four and a half. At least, please, Jesus, make it four stars. It is one other thing. What could this be? I got a really interesting texture. The bodyguard. Okay, I'm sorry. I am amazed at myself. I can't believe. I literally said, what if it's bride? And then two things that they just want me to read and they just added it on. What are the odds? What are the odds? That's freaking crazy. Okay, I love the way this book feels. Also, mm, stunning. I have heard really good things about this, and this is something that when I've heard, uh, I just know that it's a guy that's famous and a female bodyguard, but for whatever reason, he doesn't want his family to know that he has a bodyguard, and they have to pretend to be a couple. My Perfect 10 of a Book by M from Emily Henry. Okay, that is very interesting. So this is this is what I mean. This is a book that I absolutely understand people being like, oh, Katie would like that. This was on my wish list. I was very intrigued by this. These are two things that I was like, oh, I hear people talk about it, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. Oh my God, the note. There better be a, There better be three notes in here. 
like I'm putting the books. Well, okay, okay, don't play me like that. Enjoy your gift from Kristen. Kristen what? Kristen who? Kristen from which street? Which suburb, Kristen? I haven't read Bride yet, but these other two are romances I've really enjoyed, and maybe you will too, from Kristen. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna take this note, and instead of putting it in Bride, I'm gonna put it in my journal, and I'm gonna write this, what just happened underneath it, because that's fucking crazy. That's crazy! Kristen, thank you so freaking much. I wish, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, oh my god, I wish you would put your last name and your social security number so that I can find you, but that, so that I could thank you more personally. But that is so freaking sweet. Thank you so much. And I will, in fact, be taking this into the work, into the work and starting it right now. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go in to my job and bring this with me. Um, hi. It is raining cats and freaking dogs outside. Well, it's let up a little bit right now, but it has just been going at it all day. And I was like, okay, well, I have the day off, so I should spend it reading. And I want to do like a, I almost have two for one. Two birds, one stone? Yeah. Uh, so I actually got, this as that is not true. I did not get 150 pages in. Katie, are you serious? Okay, sorry. It was supposed to be on chapter seven. I got 96 pages in. I don't know why I would have done that. Oh, my bookmark fell out and I didn't want, okay. And I didn't want to spend the time figuring it out. Sorry. That just, you know, I had to have a flashback there for a second. I was like, girl, did you black out and read like 50 pages of a book? Anyway, I was at work and I got literally this close to 100 pages in. That's crazy. Like physically reading it. Well, we were really slow and I was like actively like hiding from people at my job because I didn't feel like chatting. We literally had seven covers, seven. It was two tables. It's like, what costs more? Like closing or the lights being on, you know? Cause I feel like we should have closed. Anyway, I got 96 pages into this. One, this is the floppiest boy you've ever seen. Also, why are the pages Bible thin? Like, I, it feels like it is this close to disintegrating. That's how thin it is. But it does feel good. Like, look at that. Um, I could slap somebody with this and you would never be able to tell cause it would bounce right back. I've been talking a lot and saying nothing. Okay. so. I read that and what I want to do is I want to journal because I haven't journaled in a long time and I had printed out these little like monthly calendar things and I want to do a little spread in my journal. Oh, I missed one. Hey, August. So I want to do that. And what I did was shockingly uh, last night, the audio came in for this on Libby and I was like, oh my God, I did not think I was going to get it because this is, I mean... I know I'm late, it's not new, but this is a, you know, fairly new release and it's very popular and Miss Hazelwood is very popular. Now I know in my last vlog or whatever ago vlog it was, I really did not like Check and Mate, like at all, but this I am really enjoying. Okay, now I am gonna go back to the beginning and listen to the audiobook because I don't wanna jump in on the audiobook and not really know like how things are pronounced or the way that the narrator is, you know, doing the character. It's like if somebody told you what a show was about and you started on episode three, you're like, okay, no, I need to get a feel for the characters. I need to go back to the beginning. So I am in fact going to reread the first 100 pages right now while I journal. Um, I think what I want to do, I love fruit. I don't know if y'all know that. I love fruit. I just love the way it looks. It's so pretty. It's so simple and cute. And when you cut it open, how is nature so perfect that it's just literally symmetrical? Anyway, I think what I want to do is I want to do like a dark green background and like oranges. I was thinking lemons, but then I was like, I don't know, orange. I'm kind of feeling orange. Well, I respect your ambition, Willie, but you got to have vision. So anyway, okay, I'm saying so much. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the beginning. What I'll tell you 
is that I'll just be really basic because I'll have a, actually, no, let me not. Let me wait. I'm sure I tell you what it's about in the intro, actually. I always do this. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let's get to journaling. I know I just said that we were gonna get to journaling, but that was like an hour and a half ago. Obviously, I look different, obviously. Um, I, for the first time in a long time, had the inspiration, or not inspiration, the motivation, to put real clothes on, to put contacts on, to put makeup on. Because if there's one thing I know how to do, it's too much. The second I said, I'm gonna put a bra on, there was no way that was gonna be it. I'm definitely not one of, I'm definitely one of those like, I can't just have one chip kind of person. Like I can't just have a sip of my soda. I have to drink it to the dregs, you know what I'm saying? So of course I put a bra on and then now we're here with like lipstick on and everything. For what? No reason, just cause. So I was listening to the audiobook and I got to page 54. Now this is what I wanna point out to you first. Allie Hazelwood is so unserious. She is so not serious. It is so funny to me. That is the thing I love most about her books. She, 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 she hears everything people are saying. She hears and she's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Because when I tell you, have I read all of her books? No, I didn't read the novella. Anyway, in every single one of her books, there's a tiny girl and a giant man. And people get really upset about that. I don't, I don't care. I think that it can be used in good ways. Like, I don't really, it doesn't bother me that much. But what's so funny is that it bothers so many people. And what Allie Hayes does, every book, the female main character gets taller and taller. But the guy character gets taller and tall. It is absolutely crazy. Like in um Love Theoretically, she was like five, six, five, seven. And I was like, oh, that's like a national, that's like the like national average is five, five. So I was like, oh, cool. Like she's a little bit tall. She's six feet tall in this book. Six feet tall. And the guy character, he must be seven feet tall. Or maybe even more than that because she says that she's in heels and that he's towering over her. And I was like, I feel like Allie Hazel would literally, after she wrote Chicken Mate, where he was really tall, but she was also tall. I feel like she was like, I have to write a paranormal romance because how can I make her taller? Like, how can I make him taller than her? And she's six feet tall. How can I make him a towering giant? Oh, make him a vamp. Oh, make him a werewolf. Cool. I think that is so freaking funny. Hilarious. Now, I will say that one thing I do agree with people on is the millennial-ness of this book. Like, it's just kind of grating. Like at one point she's like, oh, he puts his hand up and does the phone gesture, the one that old people do. I was like, this girl's 25. She's a millennial or like almost a millennial. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's kind of weird, but it's not that much. Like it's not that bad. Like she's not saying for the win. Rebecca Yaros. I will say that this girl's name being Misery Lark obviously is so unserious. Like it's so unserious and I love it. But Miss, Miss Allie, why is her twin brother named Owen? Misery Lark and Owen. But you, you may be the single most boring person I have ever met. No offense. Seems weird. Also, only being 50 pages in, I mean, obviously I did get farther in before, but only being what I know from these 50 pages, the world building, it's very fast and it's very easy. Um, I don't really agree when other people have read this and we're like, oh my God, like the whole paranormal stuff, I don't care about all uh, the backstory and whatever. And I'm like, I feel like the backstory or the plot basis is, makes sense. Anyway. Um, yeah, okay, all of this to say that I put makeup on and now I'm actually gonna start journaling. I really do not know when to shut up. Oh, shit.
shit. Oh my God. You were about to take a big old tumble. Big old tumble off of my printer onto the desk. Hi, y'all. Um, I am not done journaling, but I did get to chapter 10. I'm on page 126. So a little bit farther than I was when I was physically reading it. I just started doing sprints and I literally told them, I was like, I will finish this book today. I'm determined. I have not finished a book in so long. I kind of forgot what it feels like. I kind of forgot that that was a possibility, that that was a thing that I was capable of doing. And I am going to do, I, literally, I do not half-ass. We already talked about that. I was like, oh my God, I haven't read a book in forever. I need to read it all in one day. We need to finish it. So I am going to tell you that in this, I am obsessed with Serena. We have not met her yet, but the friend that she's looking for, her best friend, their relationship. Ah, like, oh my God, Misery just loves her so freaking much. And she's trying to find her and she's like, no one is looking for her except me. And like, I have to find her. And I love that. And I'm telling you right now that if Allie Hazelwood pulls some, she pulls some, okay? Because I've had this really bad luck of whenever I read a book, where someone is longing for their best friend, whether like they're the ones that are kidnapped and they want to get back to their best friend or their best friend is kidnapped. It is so unsatisfactory in the end. Like either they don't find them or they're like, oh, well, yeah, we sent an email to each other. One specific book I can't get over. Anyway, um, where I am right now in my journal is this. So I forgot that Putting a lighter paint over a darker paint obviously is not um, ideal. So I this is two rounds of paint. I don't know if you can tell if it's focusing on it, but this one is really patchy as well as this one and kind of that. This one looks pretty good, but I have to go over it at least, at least one more time. And then with some shading colors and then with the leaves. So this is gonna take me a long time. This is gonna take me a long time and so is ride. Okay, anyway, let's get back to reading and doing and being and living. Oh my God, this is the dumbest thing to pop in and say, but it made me laugh. And then I went back, listened to it again. And then I was saying it out loud to myself and I was laughing and it's such a tiny thing. But there's at one point where they have to travel somewhere and she's like, oh, I thought, you know, I don't know, not that we, that I, he'd have to be an economy, but you know, I thought maybe we'd go on like a 20 hour car ride or maybe hop on a plane and oh my God, like maybe business class. I don't know. And she sees that he has his own plane and her reaction is, Honey, are we rich? Mr. Krabs. Hello, I like money. <laughs> like, it's like, so, I don't know why it was so funny to me the way she said it. Again, this is so dumb to pop in and say that, but it was funny. And also, one of my patrons was like, because I said, I don't think this is a book that is capable of being five stars for me personally, uh, even though I really am enjoying it. And she was like, uh, the friendship might bump it up to five stars. And I was like, okay, you're giving me so much hope. You're giving me so much hope. Also, Anna, the little girl, Liliana, Anna, um, is so cute, but like severely underdeveloped. She's seven years old, but acts like she's four, but she's really cute. And I feel like Allie Hazelwood isn't doing like a, oh, I'm writing a young, like I'm writing a child and I don't know how child act, children act. I don't think it's that. I think that Anna really is just like not that smart, which is fine and it's adorable and it's nothing wrong with her. I just think that it's interesting because people don't normally do that. They normally write children to be way more intelligent than it's possible for them to even be. And Allie Hazelwood's like, go in the other direction. Yeah, and then look at this. 
It's looking so freaking cute. I am really liking it. Now, I will say that I tried to do darker orange. Was it right here? Yeah. To demarcate, like, the shading. And it didn't work. It turned out just to look exactly like the other orange. Which I'm sure is my fault, and I just don't get it. But anyway, it's going well. I'm loving it. And I am sprinting, and I am on chapter 15. She knew I was waiting through months in pain. The one day she takes me at 12 a.m. I knew that she had me, and I started to see that I've been hooked up by a vampire. She said, I'm sorry, I left you behind. And I know it sounds funny. I don't know what this angle looks like because the camera is like flipped upside down. Good luck editing, Katie, making that work. But I got to page 212 um, on that 50-minute sprint, and I am blowing through this. It is such a fast read, and I'm so enjoying it. Now, um, I think that the whole plot and the politics, one, I like it. Two, it doesn't bother me. I think that a lot of, like, I'm not invested in the way of, I need this to happen, and I need this to happen. I'm just enjoying the ride, if that makes sense. They're meeting up with Emery, and it's all dangerous, you know? And she could be anybody. And this could be, this could be vampires. They could be werewolves. They could be like human beings. It doesn't matter. I'm just liking it. Like if right now they were like, actually, I'm done with this conversation. We're good. I want to go home. I would be like, oh, okay, cool. We're going home. I wouldn't be like, oh my God, we didn't get to the meat of the story. You know what I'm saying? It's just good. It's fun. And I want to show you. Look at this. Wow. Incredible. This is so freaking cute. This looks so good. I'm actually so impressed. I love this. And I just realized because I think, I mean, I did tell you, right? That the plan was to put like the little um, journal throughout. But now I'm like, I don't want to cover it up. And I just said on sprints, I was like, maybe I'll just start painting in this like it's an art journal and not a life journal, which is funny because the reason I started making this life journal was so that I could document when I do things with my life. And that would encourage me to do more things with my life. And now instead, I'm using it to not do things with my life and stay in and listen to audiobooks and art and draw and paint. Don't you love that for me? <laughs> because it is seriously so stinking cute. It's adorable. But yeah, I am farther in and I am loving it. I am at chapter 23. She makes him laugh. It's no small gift. I really, 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 really like it. I really like it. I think this is really good. It's really fun. It's so fun. It's so cute. I love the characters. I think I know who the bad guy is. And it's not like a, oh my God, it's so obvious. I'm like, oh yeah, it's kind of obvious. Like, again, Allie Hazelwood is not pulling punches. She is not out here trying to gag the girls. She's like jump on or get off and if you jump on you better get off i'm sorry i had to say that i had to um the i'm gonna tell you right now that for the people that are worried nodding is a thing in this book i don't know how it's going to come into play necessarily just yet but i know that the character has realized that and i find that very entertaining not the fact not them doing it because i don't i don't want to see that but I don't know. We'll see what Allie Hazelwood does. But just like the fact of it and that it's like that they're just like two different species and they're like, OK, if this it's like literally if two different species of anything, we're going to have sex. It's like we have to figure this out because it's not going to work the normal way. So that's entertaining. Um, the little girl. So cute. Oh, my God. Serena, what's going on? Why do you have secrets? Why do you have secrets? If that was my best friend, I would be like, what do you mean you kept something from me? A bitch, not on my watch. And then I literally, I would have like an entire debrief for like an entire 24 hours going into the night, no sleep, no sleep till Brooklyn, no sleep until I have the trust again. I'd be like, no, you're gonna tell me everything. And of course they'd be like, oh, well, so-and-so, so-and-so. I said, no, 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 
You're going to tell me what you were wearing, how you said it, when you said it, what time of day was it? Were other people there? If so, who was it? What was their reaction? I need a timeline, step-by-step basis. I need you to write a thesis about all the things you didn't tell me. That's the kind of, that's the kind of friend I am. That's the kind of best friend I am is what I should say. But yeah, um, I am freaking digging it. I'm digging it so much. I think it's so freaking cute. And let's see. I did pause to play some Sporkle games because I'm just a girl, you know, just a girl. But this is how it turned out and it looks phenomenal. It is so pretty. I love it. Yeah, this looks so freaking good. I'm excited. I love it. I love it. I do need to do another one, uh, uh, something else for the little monthly planner thing that I was planning on doing and derailed. But yeah, let's see. I have a little over a hundred pages left, but that's not crazy. That's doable. That is doable. I am invested. Okay. I am going to stop wasting time and I'm going to get back to reading. Let's take a moment, okay? And it just makes sense that I'm currently making a margarita so that I can cheers to myself because I was in fact correct. Now, you know, I, I feel a joy of pride in knowing that, but not too much because I don't, I don't know if this was supposed to be a surprise in like, you know, somebody being a bad person. Or I mean, I don't even know what their reasoning is. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they're not a bad person. I don't know, but... I don't feel like it was supposed to be a surprise. I feel like Allie Hazelwood was like, yeah, you saw exactly what I was laying down, exactly where I was leading, who I was leading to, what you, you saw it all. And I wanted you to. Also, I was told that the third act breakup was, I was going to be annoyed by it. And I thought to myself, I was like, oh, is it just because it's a third act breakup, but that's like really common or that is like the, tr the formula of romance. And I'm going to tell you that, um, it is annoying. I don't under, I don't know what's going on yet. So it just happened, like just happened, but it was, it came out of nowhere, nowhere. And it was so abrupt. I swear it was like two pages and all of a sudden they're not together. I was like, what's going on? So yeah, you know, not gonna tell you what, but I did think it was dumb. I technically don't have all the answers yet, so whatever. But other than that, I'm having a freaking gay old time. Gay old time. Okay, let me make a margarita. I am planning on finishing this tonight. I know that was like the whole point of this video. I did stop the sprints because I was just over it. And I stupidly, as I tend to do, did a bunch of sparkle games and now it's uh, 1230 at night. Anyway, okay, let's get back to reading because I need them to get back together. Oh, I finished it. I finished it. I loved it. I loved it. This is so much fun. I definitely can't see myself and I'm planning on rereading this in the future. I want to give it four and a half stars because I don't know if like this kind of book is like a five star for me, but for what it is, absolutely a five star. Like for what, the, what I was expecting out of this book, I got so much more than I was even anticipating. I love the characters. I loved the banter. I love the romance. It was so cute. I love the found family. It was adorable. Like I just thought it was so good. I really, really, really think it's so good. If you are um wondering if you should pick this up, I highly recommend. And I will say, without spoilers, that the friendship did not disappoint. 
did not disappoint. Did not disappoint. I freaking love Serena. Love Misery. Love Lo. Love Anna. Love Owen. I just... Juno, everybody. I love everybody. They are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. And the ending, I I knew it. I was like, what are we going to do at the end that's going to make a sequel inevitable? It was kind of giving like an Archeron sister vibe. I was about to say if you know, you know, but I don't even know if the people that know would get it. <laughs> I'm being kind of cryptic. Anyway, yes, I love this. If you've gotten this far, then leave the wolf or the vampire, or the blood emoji. All of those things would be perfect. Okay, if you want to follow me on Goodreads or Instagram, they're going to be linked down below, as well as a myriad of other links to help support this channel in many different ways, including my Patreon, which... It's so self-conscious to plug it, but I... Listen, I love it, and y'all seem to love it. So, if you want to go over there, you totally could... Anyway, all that being said, I hope that you are all having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever you're having in whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye. The library, darling. Uh -huh. Because reading is what? Fundamental. That's right. That's right. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess. What's happening next? Uh,